Welcome to another episode of the Backyard Studios Podcast. So today, we are going to talk about the Oscars. The Oscars. They happened. They did happen. And... I won. He won. So every year we do like... We do like a competition between the three of us where we fill out a ballot and whoever gets the most correct answers yep. wins. True. True. But what's exciting is that Chris was ahead. For I like almost beat I, I I was ahead for most, pretty much most of the ceremony. The Oscars, most of the ceremony. And then we were tied leading into Best Picture. Yeah. But Chris picked... I picked three billboards. And I picked The Shape of Water, which won, put, putting me ahead. Yeah, it did. Deservedly so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Maybe yeah. You don't think so. You didn't think. You thought three billboards should have won. I, I, I really thought that it had it. <laughs> but Yeah, but you thought it should have. I, I did. I didn't think it should have. I'm sticking with three billboards. <laughs> I wasn't surprised that Shape of Water had one. Um, you were a little surprised. A little bit, but not. I mean, otherwise. I was a little bit surprised. For uh, if if another but film was gonna win, it was gonna yeah. be that. Like, it was between those two movies. For yeah. Sure. Um, <clears throat> true. I also was just playing off of the fact that in a number of the previous ceremony, you know, awards shows, that was getting the uh, the best picture look and so I thought eh. yeah. what was in all seriousness yeah. it yeah. probably had the going into the to the ceremony it had the best chance but you never know going into the Oscars you know I think I looked this up and it's something like 50% yeah of like the winner of let's just say the Golden Globe actually happens to be the winner of the yeah, Academy Award. Yeah. Well, and so. and then I I was I saw somebody that there is a statistic I I don't remember it, but uh, with what wins at the Independent Spirit Awards, how that influences so it as well. So many award shows. And that one is the night before. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, one of the websites I looked up had a number of yeah award shows that, and their predictions as far as like. In the past, yeah, the movies that have won these awards usually end up mm-hmm. winning. And uh, producers, producers Guild, Guild them, yeah, is big, pretty big. Yeah, it's <coughs> big on that list. Yeah, so but hmm. which Ship of Water won? So what? What killed me was all the 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 documentaries. I thought I had those locked up or at least close to it, and it, yeah, I it didn't just like. Out on those either. I don't think I if did. I had either. known, I think I got. If I had really, no, I don't think I got either of them. Thought about it more, um, looking at who, like who were the filmmakers of those, it would have been a no-brainer to pick. Because uh, uh, Icarus won, right? Yeah, Icarus, Icarus won. Icarus won, and what was the short? I, uh, I, I'm not saying her name correctly. That's the one for ne- Netflix, which is cool. Angus Varda, Agnes, something. Oh, yeah. I, I, French name. I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but she has had a ton of uh, documentaries that yeah. she's done, and just a storied history of them. And if I had really looked into it a little bit more, I it would have been a no-brainer to pick hers. Yeah. Um, but you didn't. But I didn't, so I didn't get that right. And I was pleasantly surprised with uh, Kobe Bryant winning an Oscar for his film, for animated short, um, Dear Basketball. He is a the only NBA player to ever win an Oscar. Good for Kobe. Um, it was kind of funny. They somebody put side by side. Uh, <coughs> Kobe Bryant and Laker fans rejoice. Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio and oh, Leo's got all these uh, nominations, and Kobe had the one, and he won it. Good job, Kobe. But hey, good job. Yeah, I was really happy that Dunkirk won the editing award because yeah, yeah that was good. I really wanted Baby Driver. I mean, yeah, that both one. of those were <coughs> great. I was editing. I was those, fine with Dunkirk. Dunkirk. 
really came together and how it was edited. And yeah. It yeah. Was really creative. It's true. Edited. Yeah. As far as the timeline goes, uh -huh. it's just that, and then and then it also won the other two technical things with the yeah. sound mixing and sound editing. Yeah. <coughs> um. Which I was. I picked both of them, but I was slightly nervous that oh, well, maybe how much I maybe the uh, um, maybe uh, Blade Runner would take those yeah. because you of gotta go with the war movie though. Yes, I, I agree. So I I didn't realize how much I was a fan of the technical side of Baby Driver, <laughs> but um, I really that wanted that to get a sound one. Yeah, yeah. Um, because all because the that whole the whole movie is built on sound and how the music he's listening to right that's why i picked i picked dunkirk for sound editing but then i picked baby driver for sound mixing mm -hmm. i would have pulled um, those actually but, oh, okay. yeah we, we had this discussion once before of like it's what is one of those confusing sound sound well, so is, but it's like sound mixing is sound mixing is, is on is, is set is, based like all is, on set recording right uh, like how you're mixing the, the audio that's being the recorded that are happening oh i think that's my understanding of it and then, and then editing is is, is post. putting in post. is yeah and creating some sound, sound effects and effects. Yeah. how it fits into the, the movie and stuff I which is why i thought dunkirk was just really good sound editing. yeah I, I guess i had a different understanding of mixing it's like yes i you're thinking it's still in the editing room but and you're, you're just but it's figuring out how everything fits together. <coughs> What's the, yeah, because uh, they how, obviously how have... How much of this you can hear how, yeah. compared to like... Because they obviously yeah. have multiple I'm mics sure. out there. Yeah, I guess. I'm pretty sure it's on set. It's Because okay. like some, some guy's on set mixing everything. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's true. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's my understanding. Um, really pumped for Get Out. That yeah. That screenplay. That was yeah. really awesome. I mean, was He's, it wasn't going to win anything else. He has a bright future as as a writer and director. Yeah, for sure. Uh, excited to see his next project. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, the only category that I really was kind of upset about was the best original song. I don't know. Uh, I don't really totally understand the "Remember Me" well, pick. Well, I it was a good song. I will say. Sure. If I had, <clears throat> again, another one of those. If I had really thought about it, and looked at who actually did that song. The couple that wrote "Remember Me," yeah, they did "Let It Go." They or, did or "Let or It Go." The other awards that. that the song won, and just yeah. you know, oh yeah, because you picked it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, <coughs> I, my weakness is is that I just pick the one that I think you should win. <laughs> yeah, not that I want to win, that oh, I think should win. Should win. Yeah. Well, and, and, I, I, and then and it, I thought know, this is I'm me wrong. should win. <laughs> That's why I never win. <laughs> but that happened last year. I was like ahead as we were going through. I was ahead by like. Three, and then once it got to the big categories, <laughs> I picked ones that I thought should win, even though I knew they weren't going to, and then I ended up losing by like two. I think <laughs> we all got the acting categories right yeah, this year. Not all four of those. No, because no? I picked Sally Hawkins. Ah. Oh. Mm. Um, she was good. My, my my weakness. I thought she deserved it more. <laughs> I picked her. She was good. Yeah. Not. Oh, I mean, she only had like a couple lines, but her performance was just very very yeah. yeah you understood what she was yeah your emotions mm -hmm. without her having to say anything which is but other than that one i think pretty incredible to do that was i mean those categories were pretty much locked up beforehand because yeah. you had yeah. sam rockwell allison janney and um gary oldman yep and francis dorman yeah. like dorman yeah. dorman yeah so and yep I, I mean i think uh even best director was pretty locked up too yeah um I, I, yeah, kind I of would not have been shocked if Greta Gerwig won. Yeah. I wouldn't have been like blown away. Yeah. But I was definitely was expecting Guillermo to win. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I she won. Really excited that Deacon's got one. Yes. Good job, dude. Go. We're big fans, Deacon. man. Biggest big fan. fans. That was the other one that I kind of picked. Well, let's see, Baby Driver was nominated, I think. You didn't. Maybe not. I picked Dunkirk. Because I really liked the cinematography for Dunkirk. Which I thought amazing. it was yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I just didn't really like Blade Runner that much. It was. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't think that the cinematography film. itself was like, whoa, that's amazing. Yeah. <coughs> but 
Um, the colors, though. Yeah. yeah. Which is part of the cinematography. Yeah, the it's true. Really, yeah. Really great. I think that's the main thing about that, the movie about the cinematography is. You're creating all of this. Yeah. The color. Color to. Yeah. It. I'm not a pure cinematographer at heart, like Jer is over here. <laughs> so I, you know, I think more of like composition. In what I think, kind of envision mm-hmm. as cinematography, and so. Stuff like it, color and lighting and all that stuff doesn't as doesn't stand out as much mm-hmm. to me so it looked really if you look at um the but everyone wanted to give deacons an oscar yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you look at the orig- the the first blade runner um just the color the there's a lot of um it didn't look s- like yes it was a long you know made a lot of time span between both of these movies but the similarities in the cinematography was uh, easy to notice, at least. Okay. I think. Um, I've seen the original one, so you're saying like it yeah. had a similar feel. To yeah, it, it did then. for sure. He really did. He did capture the the ambiance of the world that it was in, and um, yeah, it was a little bit difficult to watch. Just it was just. It was a long one. Really but <laughs> um, if you've never seen, like, you should watch Blade Runner, and then I think it all makes Blade sense. Runner. Well, I wasn't confused. No, no, but like uh, the the let's say the just the whole world in itself, like, I don't know. Sure. Because I, I mean, I thoroughly appreciated it. It was just a little long. <laughs> Um, and yeah, a lot of and so the other screenplay, call me by your name, did that yeah. one, that's right, yeah, yeah, for um, adapted, yes, yes, um, yeah, what's the next one? Coco was a shoe in for animated, Coco was a shoe in for sure, <laughs> um, who won score, Alexander gets score. Yes. Yeah, Shape that was of a water. great score. Yes. Beautiful score. And he scored Ooh, an Oscar. <laughs> he did. Um, yeah, I I think I picked Dunkirk for that one. Um, it's good music, too. Yeah. Because I, well, so if you haven't seen Dunkirk, there's three stories that are all happen, happening simultaneously, mm-hmm. but are taking different amounts of time from an hour to a week. And I thought the music did a really good job of of latching onto the rhythm of each part of that story, um, because you know each each part of the story has its own pace mm-hmm. and moves at its own speed. And so I, I for me that really stuck out is someone did a really good job of of writing that score yeah. and matching it with the story that was being told. So I'm gonna go for Shane. But yeah. Shape of Water was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The music really Great helped score. Really helped tell the story as well. It was just very like beautiful. Beautiful. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is kind of reflects what the movie is about, mm-hmm. just beauty. Yeah. For sure. So, yeah, good stuff. So Let's now, see. so switching gears, <coughs> we've talked all that out um looking forward We've got this spring. We've got some big blockbusters gonna be hidden. Big blockbusters. Um, and maybe some smaller maybe, blockbusters. Yeah. Blockbusters. What, what I'm really excited about. Blockbusters that so went what, out of what, business. What, yeah. do you, what do you got? What do you got? What I'm really what excited what about. I've been itching to talk about is it's it's not a big blockbuster, but it's a movie I'm really excited about. It's uh, John Krasinski's <laughs> directorial <laughs> debut. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. A Quiet Place. Yes. If you haven't watched the trailer, watch it now. Oh my Pause gosh, this video. So, go watch the it's trailer. So it's 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 his directorial debut. It's also I'm starring him, him and his wife, yeah. uh, yes. Emily Blunt. Um, but it looks fantastic. And I'm just super excited for it. It's in the horror genre, which yes. I love horror genre movies. When they're done well, it might be more say. of it on the thriller side of horror. Thriller. Yeah, it looks like more of a thriller, I think, yeah. is what it is. But Definitely suspenseful. 
I'm assuming you've already watched the trailer by now, so I'm just yeah. going to talk about the, the concept of it because I think it's really awesome. And because they're in this house and they can't make any noise because if they make noise, then the things or the you know, creatures or whatever, I don't know if the creatures or people or probably some kind of creature will you know, come and hunt them. And so I'm guessing that it's just going to be silent <laughs> like the whole movie, I think. <laughs> probably not even much music. You know, and you're probably yeah. just gonna be like, <laughs> like not even breathing probably the most of the movie. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited! It's gonna be good. I'm glad you guys are excited about that. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad. glad we're excited. I'm about glad it. that he's getting a uh, directorial, um, going that direction. Uh, uh, I think that is well suited for him. Yeah. Um, so and and to be acting next next to his wife is pretty cool. What are you excited for, Chris? Uh, oh, Infinity War. Of that's course. the big one that, that I think of as Infinity yeah. War. Yep. Um, and it got moved up to up a week, so it comes out at the end of April. So oh, yeah. it kind of it it falls into the spring kind of category because it's not in May, starting off the summer blockbusters. Um, it's it's a spring blockbuster. Mm. Um, so that's a big one. Um, also, uh, new Deadpool. New Deadpool. Um, is still out? is untitled. I think it'll just be Deadpool <laughs> 2. I, like but I hope it stays untitled. I think May, is that when it comes out? Yeah, in May. Um, I'm also looking forward to Mary Poppins Returns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As well as Christopher Robin, the uh, new uh, live action. Winnie the Pooh story. Um, Disney's doing very well so far with their uh, remake, live action remakes of their animated Ooh. stories. Um, you heard it here first. <coughs> Chris is excited for Pooh. <laughs> that, just let that settle. That, would, your... <laughs> that would make it really great. <laughs> you um, were pointing at me. Do you... Chris is excited for Pooh. So there are no movies coming out on the 15th. Or fourth, what am I saying? The fourth. Yeah. And that was when Avengers. Yeah. Was I coming. wonder why do they. Know, do we know what's happening on that day? Like, why are no movies coming out that day anymore? No. Maybe they. Because initially, when maybe they announced they, they were moving it back, I was like, oh, maybe there's another movie. Maybe they, they don't decided. Want to with, maybe they decided to. Theaters are closed that day. <laughs> because it's May the fourth. Maybe they are throwing us a but some sort of Star Wars Han thing. Solo, bringing that a couple, a few weeks earlier. Maybe. Because that's, that's Cause it's that is it, May 25th. Maybe Disney's uh, shaking it up a little bit and giving you a Star Wars movie on May the 4th. Mm. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they are just Hashtag it speculation. They got a lot of movies in May. They do. As it is. I mean, wait, is Dead, that Deadpool's not there so now, is it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Is it technically there? Yes. Yeah, because yeah. it's Fox. Yeah. And then Han Solo. Yeah. So those are it's, two. They've got a they've got a packed movies coming out. They have a packed yeah. month. Um, Another movie I'm excited for, Animal Crackers. Oh, I thought he was gonna read off. I'm I'm. Haven't heard of this. Just just now saw it on here. Don't know what it's about. Probably animals. Ocean's Eight uh, is very intriguing to me. Um, big fan of the Oceans trilogy, and so. Um, <laughs> it's John Krasinski. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay maybe I am excited for it then. Wait. Acting? He's in it? Blunt. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's a kind of director. He's a voice. He's a voice. Well, actor. and Emily Blunt. And, Emily and Blunt. Danny DeVito. <laughs> and Ian McKellen. Guys, Ray. directors and Tony Sylvester Bancroft, Stallone. Scott Christian, Sava, and others. Okay. What is this yeah. movie? Only, uh, Breaking news. I'm just um, gonna have a lot of oh, and Gilbert Gottfried. All right, guys. Another so synopsis: A family <coughs> must use a magical box of animal crackers to save a rundown circus from being <coughs> taken over by their evil uncle Horatio P. Huntington. Wow. What a name. He's hunting yeah. them. Horatio P. Huntington. He's hunting them down. Um. He's hunting them a ton. Another one is uh, Isle of Dogs. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, we get a, another Wes Anderson and it looks really great. It does. Um, mm -hmm. it does look really great. Yeah. Just looks like a fun one. Um, 
And I see you have The Incredibles 2. Oh, Incredibles yeah. 2. So I don't know how far we were going because we're kind of out of spring now. So now we're in well, June, summer. Leading into the summer. Yeah, uh, Incredibles 2. We've been waiting for this sequel for so long. And they are finally giving it to us. Yeah. And then we got another Marvel movie. Teen, teen July. Titans go to the movies. <laughs> and Morgan continues to say random movie titles. It's not random, it's real. Another yes. another Marvel movie in July. Ant Man and the Wasp. Ant Man and the Wasp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another Ant Man's just a fun character. I, I know some I've, some people don't really haven't really jumped on the you know, they like Ant Man at all. I'm like, how can he not like him? He's hilarious, and, oh. and he's a little bit of a renegade. And yeah, I, I like when he pop. I like when he popped up in in Civil War. It was pretty pretty great to see him in there. Yeah. So, so oh, another wow. one, another one I'm really excited about. It's called it's called Skyscraper. <laughs> so I knew so excited for that one. So excited. If you haven't watched the trailer, watch it now. Wait. And then watch and then watch the Rampage. trailer. No, and then watch the trailer for for uh, Die Hard. Because this movie is basically Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hashtag Die dumb. Hard remake. <laughs> Plot is kept under wraps. Uh, yeah, because we know. <laughs> Watch the train. Oh gosh. The last one uh, I am uh, excited about, and it, I think it's I don't know the exact date. I think it's uh, May. Is uh, Pacific Rim Uprising? Mm -hmm. um, probably a not so interested from Morgan's corner. Well, Morgan's corner. He. Uh, if you remember, doesn't didn't really like Pacific Rim. What's your problem with Pacific Rim, Morgan? That's your quote. Here. That is true. <laughs> but um, yeah, really uh, excited. John Boyega is in it, and um, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. Anything else? Any other? Any other? Um. Morgan. Mission Impossible has gotten better and better with each yes. installment, and there's another one coming out in there August is. or July. Yeah. I, I just think. hope they don't, you know, lose the momentum and start. <laughs> yeah. Tanking with them. But I mean, because it, it, it's a, it's a, I think I it would be an easy concept to kind of lose your. Good How crazy can you go? Well, you can go pretty crazy. He does do his own stunts. Ooh. And I heard he one. like had, and had got quite hurt. a few injuries doing he, his stunts he, in this he one. He hurt his he ankle. Like broke his or bro did he break his ankle? It? I don't he remember. He did something to his ankle broke it? Um, from one of his stunts. I mean And he flew his own like airplane in this one. Or not his helicopter. Airplane, he flew yeah, he, he I, like he has a helicopter. I, like, I, I, I give props to him for doing all of these crazy stunts on his own. Um, it's gutsy. You don't see a lot of these guys doing their own stunts. So it's, it is pretty cool to see that. Um, Breaking In looks like a pretty good action movie, if anyone saw the trailer for that. Breaking this, In? Yeah, it's called, mm. it's called Breaking In, and a mom has to break into her house, to save her own house, to save her children from some bad men. From bad. Pretty much all I know. <laughs> <laughs> it looked pretty good. I saw it earlier. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> it's like a pretty decent. Uh, I thought he was just movie. reading the synopsis. Okay, I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. I haven't seen the oh, synopsis. Oh no, bad I was not reading the synopsis. Maybe Some right. bad men. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great, Morgan. Doesn't I thought you were saying like she locked her keys in her house and just break in. Yeah. Yep. Oh, good movie. <laughs> yeah. She, ah. she <laughs> actually <laughs> lost her keys in the sewage system and was like, uh -uh, I'm not getting in there. Cause of, to yeah. get those, because that's gross. gross. And then, she's like, I gotta I get into my house, this. though, because those are where my <laughs> keys are. Ooh. Ooh. The synopsis is much more boring than I just gave. <laughs> a woman fights to protect her family during a home invasion. Hmm. Who's in it? People. 
Like those two people. Normal actor people. Yep. Normal actor oh, no, people. Yeah. I'm just saying, guys, it might cool. be good. Yeah. Hey. Cool. You got to start somewhere. What yeah. movies are you guys excited for? You can tell us right in the comments. Uh, and tell us how you did in uh, if you did the Oscar challenge or whatever. Tell us uh, how you did. Did you beat Jeremy? Yeah. No. Did you beat me? Did you beat me? He had 19. I had 18. Did you beat Morgan? Morgan had Probably. 13. <laughs> 13. <laughs> tell us. We'd like to know. More than half. I got them. Mm. Those are words we <coughs> put together into a sentence. And uh, <laughs> with that, we'll see you next time on the Backyard Studios podcast.